Hello and welcome everybody to this Azure Synapse Espresso. Today we're talking about dedicated SQL pools and I've got a special guest with us today, Arthur Vieira from the Azure Synapse CSE team. Arthur, can you introduce yourself? Hello everybody, my name is Arthur. I'm a program manager with the CSE team, it's customer success engineering. My role in this team is to help out the customers moving from the concepts to the implementation as quickly as possible and to help out the product developers to decide what what is the asks from the field. I've been working with Synapse for the last, I don't know, uh, 11 years uh, in its multiple versions. And today we are going to have a quick conversation about one of the aspects of the Synapse, which are the distributed tables. So uh, remember last time we talked a bit about uh, distribution. We talked about replicated tables, round robin distribution, uh, and we've talked about hash distributed tables, but we didn't really go into any of the details. So today with Artur, we're going to talk about hash distributed tables. So first question for you, Artur, what is a hash distributed table? Say, so a hash distributed table is one of the three types of tables that we can have inside of the Synapse. The idea around the distribution is a, a deterministic way to figure out where to put the records inside of the uh, of the of the synapse in a, in in a predictable way. So we know in the, in the previous sessions we discussed that we have sixty distributions, sixty spaces inside of the synapse where we can put data. The idea around the distributed table is to put the records inside of each of those spaces depending on the, the hash value of the, the record that, that we are using. So for example, if we are putting, we, if we have a, re, a record that has the value number one, if we have one, if we have that record, we're going to know where it's going, that record's going to be physically, and all the records that have the same value are going to be in the same place. So what, every time that value changes, the record is going to be placed in a different way. The idea is to, to simulate what we, the example that we saw in, in the previous videos with the car and the loads bringing the, the things to, to the house. The idea is to get those 60 cars, those 60 spaces, getting the data out into the, into the, into the destination as quickly as possible and as evenly as possible. We are going to have another session later on, specifically on the, on the, on the data skew. This is the, this, this is the concept, but the main focus is we want to have our table created in a way that uh, all the spaces, all the distribution that we have inside of Synapse, they actually have the same amount of records or at least a very similar number of records. That we, way, we, we, we basically don't want to overload a car, right? So we, we basically that, that, don't yeah. want to overload a car. Yeah. So we want to have an even spread of the records uh, inside, of the, inside of those distributions. Yeah. So if, if we don't do that, we're going to have cars, using the same example, we're going to have cars that are completely loaded and full with, with, a, with, a, with a very big weight doing that, doing that movement. And then we're going to have other cars that have nothing there, so they're not doing anything. So the better, the, the, yeah. the most even the record distribution is, the faster the system runs. Okay, awesome. And um, basically, like, uh, what are the types of table we should consider when using this hash distribution? Is it for all tables or is it specific things that you need to think about? Yeah, well, you can use whatever distribution, whatever structure you want for your tables, but the table, the hash distribution is oriented to typically the fact tables, very long tables with billions and billions of records or where we store the most the, the biggest volume of our data and it's going to be used by 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 most of our workloads the idea is we we have we hash distribute the the tables that are very big so that whenever we need to touch those tables we actually have the best performance possible returning that those records back to back to the to the end user or to the customer that is asking for that data 
but this is basically a very big and important query optimization you can do like the distribution yeah. evenly distributing that on a certain key that you define and then basically getting that result out there as fast as possible using all these distributions together instead of only single distributions and actually slowing down the system by choosing this wrongly another session will be coming on distribution keys and how to select them but as always, yep. I would like to now see how that works. How do you create such a table and okay. what are the options you have? So let me show you how, how we can create a hash distributed table. The statement for the, the create statement is pretty much the same as the other tables. The only thing that actually is different is on this column here where we say distribution. In this case, we are going to say hash. And then we're going to choose, we're going to say the name of the column that is going to be the key for our distribution. So the idea here is in our table, we are going to have to choose the best distribution key possible that gives us the most even data distribution across, across our synapse. We're going to have a session later on dedicated on the best way to choose the distribution key for, for your tables. But uh, usually a, a natural candidate is, for example, a primary key, a business key, something that is highly distinct, then that can give you that type of that type of good, best behavior. Uh, it's very common, and we're also going to discuss this with more details later. It's very common for us to have something that we call data skew, which means that we we chose our business key. It's the best for us, but in fact, it's not the best for Synapse. So we need to pay attention to this type of these type of scenarios. And currently, the the what we have is the hash distribution with one distribution key. We just released we just released something called multi-column distribution that really helps out with this this problem with the with the data skew. So the idea is instead of only using one distribution key, I'm going to show you here the other screen. You're going to say that you can have the same distribution, the same table created, but instead of distributing the data just by one attribute, you can distribute up to eight. We'll do a video on the differences between the performance differences between the the single column distribution and the multi column distribution on on one of our next videos to see the big difference awesome so this basically means that we can hash distribute those tables on a certain key or even multiple keys if you have a business key which is more unique and this will evenly distribute that data across those 60 distributions we'll talk a bit more about data skew and choosing that distribution key in later videos uh, but for today that's basically it that's what we wanted to show you how to create that hash distributed table and just to key fundamentals of it. Now, if there was the first time uh, you're visiting our channel and you want to see more of these Synapse videos, um, just subscribe to the channel. Um, if you liked our video, just give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or if you want to know more about certain sub subjects, just write them in the comments and we'll probably get, we'll definitely get back, not probably, we'll definitely get back to you. And we'll also maybe make videos on, on topics you want to see tackled. Um, as always from the uh, Synapse Espresso team, this is Stan. This is Artur. Thank you and bye. Bye.